Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Rain World Downpour with Minotaurus BLT. So, we're in Journey's End, and I'm feeling like this is going to be, like, the end, right? I must have some background process running or something that's causing this thing to chunk out really bad. Or maybe the gates are just old and rusty? I guess. Nice of them to put a gate here, though. Or, not a gate, a, uh... Shelter. What the fuck? Okay, rain roll just exploded. Um, that's not great. <laughs> also, things are moving really slow and weird. I wonder if did rain roll run into like some weird exception that just caused things to like fucking die? Cycle one thirty. Open, I say. Yeah, Ringworld's having some issues right now. At least it seems to be. Please don't explode again. Wait, why didn't I gain any karma? That's odd. Oh, the crash! The crash might have might have done it. Or might have, like, done part of it? I don't know. over here. This, this reminds me a lot of the intro, though. I'll tell you what. I can't! <gasps> <gasps> My people! My people! <laughs> ah! Dude! <laughs> Oh my god, this is great! Look at it! They're all happy that we're here. We're all piling on top of each other, strangely. I love it! <gasps> oh, and it's all the drawings! Oh my god, I love this! And then you're showing them all the food, and the bats are like, ooh, interesting. And then the slug cats are like, ooh, <laughs> nom 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 nom. And you're teaching them all the, all the crazy shit they can eat. Oh, dude, I love this. Ah, <gasps> the pops are so adorable. Okay, so I think this is at least somewhat confirmation that, like, Survivor is supposed to be about the size of, like, you know, one of these... The, the Survivor is one of the adult slug cats. Oh, then again, because what is it? Survivor is actually one of the smaller ones that falls off a bridge in the cutscene. Um, so, it... Oh, that explains why Andrew was saying, like, you know, yeah, there's not enough time technically. Migration. Oh. Migration, you say. Um why uh, Andrew was commenting like oh yeah technically there's not really enough time for you to go from like uh, you know the the smaller slug catch you are to the bigger one um, in in the time that it would have taken to get there but like just just it's fine it's fine just chill you know um, dude I freaking love this I love that there's an alternate ending that doesn't require uh, ascension and I think this means that now we have slug pups I don't know where that gets enabled, though. I think it might be in the remix menu, perhaps? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Dude, I'm so excited, though. This is... I, I fucking love this game so much. And, like, that ending makes me so happy. And now, all oh, that means you can do that with Survivor! And Monk! And probably not Hunter. That would be mean to do that as Hunter. Because then you'd just be like, Yeah, I'm here, and now I'm turning into a weird fucking rot monster. <laughs> If you don't know, there's a thing where, uh, as the hunter, if you fail your, your mission... Um, actually, I guess it's only if you fail, right? Well, I guess part of your mission would be to ascend, yeah? So if you fail, then wherever you failed, that's uh, where a, a hunter long legs shows up. 
um, which is like a weird smaller pink version of a daddy or a, a brother long legs. Like it's also technically a smaller version of a daddy long legs, but it's like, I, I, as I understand it, it is faster and uh, it's just it's really bad. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of deaths. <laughs> Yo, food quest completed. Let's go. I don't remember what ant, what uh, critters we killed though. Yeah, that's six sixty four. That's gonna be. That's a big chunk down. At three hundred though, that's nice. Three hundreds, uh, three hundies is is uh, wonderful, dude. I. I'm interested to see what happens at the end of Artificer, my, my current Artificer playthrough on Twitch. Because, like, I, there, there's... I've killed a lot of shit. <laughs> like, a, a, a very large number of vultures, and uh, I think I've killed, like, two or three king vultures. Um, it just There's been a lot of shit that's died. Oh, so I only killed one bobbit worm. Interesting. Oh, right, I could have gotten the score multiplier at the very end here with, uh, with all the different things. I like that they added score stuff to each slug cat. That's nice, though. I like that. That's a pretty nice score, I gotta say. Are you done out there with your fucking leaf blower? Like, for real, dude, it's snowing, not not leafing outside. It, like, our, our maintenance people are using a fucking leaf blower <laughs> outside. Which is interesting. The Outer Expanse gate remains unlocked beyond this point in the timeline. Pups can now be found in sandbox mode and some campaigns. Oh! That's why you have to do this one. Because of the migration! Ah! <laughs> it's so cute! Holy shit, man! Okay, hang on. Wait, what? Jolly... What? So, like, the pups just happen? So the pups just happen. Yeah? Okay, I I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to try... Brave explorer, hungry for their next adventure or perhaps their next meal. Um, what's the what, what is this? Expedition is a challenge-oriented game mode featuring permadeath and progression. Pick a character and prepare for an expedition by selecting which challenges to undertake. A successful expedition will grant points and varying rewards depending on what was accomplished. These can range from new perks to use in future runs, burdens to increase the difficulty in interesting ways, and music tracks that can be played in the jukebox. Whilst undertaking an expedition, certain gameplay elements are changed. Players start the expedition in a randomly selected shelter. Oh, wonderful. Player, uh, all characters start with two karma and have a maximum karma limit of five. The survivor achievement is completed by default, and uh, other achievements are not granted by it. Passages are disabled by default, instead being unlocked by a perk. Echoes will not spawn on the first cycle. There, are no cycle, uh, there is no cycle limit for the hunter in expedition. Collectible tokens will not appear. Oh, so I... Oh. Select a slug cat to use for the duration of the expedition. The expedition will take place in the same world as their campaign, but with story elements removed. If Jolly Co-op is enabled, you can also configure the number of additional pl Oh, dude, that's sick. Um, monk and Survivor are unlocked by default. Hunter unlocked once Monk or Survivor's campaigns will be beaten. Others are unlocked once their campaign is beaten. Oh, okay, so if I was on my other save file, then everybody would be unlocked. Okay, makes sense. The challenge select page is where you craft your expedition. Adjust the number and types of challenges uh, you will aim to complete and see how many points you will earn once the expedition is completed. Challenges can be re-rolled for... Wait, so uh, Challenge selection page is where you craft your expedition. Adjust the number and type of challenges you will aim to complete. And see how many points you will earn once the expedition is completed. Challenges can be re-rolled for new ones by selecting them. The difficulty of the new challenge can be adjusted by dragging the difficulty slider. More difficult challenges award more points. I forget what the point. Do we wait? We know what the points do, or 
do we? Complete quests to unlock additional content, such as perks, burdens, and music tracks. Expedition quests are completed by undertaking an expedition that meets certain requirements, whilst milestone quests are completed after reaching a specific goal across multiple expeditions. Wait. Completed by undertaking an expedition that meets certain requirements, whilst milestone quests are completed after reaching a specific goal across multiple expeditions. Okay. Um, highlight a quest to see all of its requirements and rewards. Try to put uh, together an expedition that completes multiple quests at once. Missions are handcrafted expeditions with specific challenges and starting locations. Some missions may also require you to use a certain perk or burden. While these cannot be removed, additional perks and burdens can be enabled if desired. Hmm. In order to select a mission, you must first unlock all of its requirements. Some quests will require that uh, a mission be completed before granting its rewards. You can also repeat a mission at any time to... Wait. Okay. Unlock by a quest. Perks can be applied to an expedition uh, to even the odds. Granting, a, uh, granting new tools and abilities for making... Com uh, bleh. Making completing challenges easier. See below for a full list of unlockable perks. Black Spear? Singularity Bomb. Spear dual wielding. Explosion resistance? Oh, that's very cool. Okay, so we can actually give ourselves, like, other slug cat abilities, and then there's question mark, question mark? Burdens are modifiers you can add to your expedition to increase the difficulty. In return, the multi uh, a multiplier is added to your final score, increasing the number of points. What the fuck? Okay, if I had to guess, blinded just fucks up your your ability to see. Duh. Um, doomed, I would guess, is going to be like the hunter. So, like, you are going to die in a certain amount of time. Um, hunted is, I'm guessing... Because they're called hunting parties, I'm going to guess it's scabs are after you. Pursued, I feel like, probably means that there's a vulture after you? Jukebox lets you listen to your favorite tracks from Rain World and Rain World Downpour. All music tracks can be unlocked as rewards for completing quests. Okay. So, I tell you what, dude. I'm going to play the fucking hunter. Yeah. No, we're not playing two-player. We're playing a single-player. Why do you think there's two players? No. Okay. I mean, let... So it, it's going to do something random? Challenges? Challenge difficult, difficulty. I, I don't... Progression. Bird watching. Kill a king vulture, kill... Vultures reach the vista point in chimney canopy. I don't fully get this. This ain't gonna happen. No. Earn hunter, earn monk, reach the vista point in shoreline. Reach the vista point in outer expanse. Oh shit. Oh, milestones. What the fuck? Dude, there's so much shit here. Holy shit. Jesus. Okay, well, you know what, dude? Like, I. What is all this? Reach these milestones across multiple expeditions. One per okay, so one per capacity. Reach milestones and complete expeditions with certain restrictions and rewards. Challenge is one. I mean, like, I... I don't know exactly what to do here. Store three colored pearls in a shelter and drainage system. That sucks. Earn 70 points from creature kills this cycle. <laughs> no. Or in the mo nope. Pin ten creatures to walls or floors. Uh, that seems doable. Earn two hundred and twenty points from creature kills. Okay. Visit the Sky Islands Echo. Go fuck yourself. Earn the Wanderer Passage. Run. No. No. Flare bombs in a single shelter. That seems uh, hard. So I'm, I'm assuming I have no perks or burdens. Yeah, I can I even select these? No. So I could take a perk, but I, I can't do shit with that. Okay, interesting. 
Um, let's just, I mean, like, let's, let's just start. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, really. I feel like seeing what is possible here is, oh, that's why, that's why the, the monk and whatnot would be so fucking hard. God, oh, we're a drainage system! Fuck you, man. <laughs> well, this is terrible. Put down your back. These things are going to be worth, like, dick all for, for food for us, right? Munch it. Yeah. Yep, worth absolutely dog shit. <laughs> so, wait, what else do I have to do here? Oh, fuck. This is going to be hard, dude. So, like, it's basically like you're playing the game again, but not really? Interesting. Right, I have to remember, I'm not going to get uh, sweaty after use here. Cool. Where's the squid? Oh, squid's down here. So these expeditions are fucking long, dude. Alright, I can't pull that out of the wall. Shit. Um, I don't think eating the snails is worth my time. For some reason, I thought these were, like, shorter. You know what I mean? They're, like, it was, it was more, uh... What? Motherfucker. <laughs> but it was more like, um... I don't know. Like, much shorter duration kind of things. You know what I mean? Wait. Oh, I already have a pearl in me, don't I? No, I have a brick? Fuck that. Put this pearl in, dude. Stuff that shit in your face. Slurp it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's go. Man, starting a drainage system is not great. <laughs> I do like that now you can kind of play the hunter for a little bit longer, though. Um, although I would like to get the actual fuck out of this place, because drainage system is the worst. Yeah, I would really like to get... Oh, that's right, because our, our karma is maxed at a certain level, isn't it? It said that it's maxed at, like, five. But then, uh, what about the echoes, did it say? Oh, we're... And we started, too, huh? I don't remember what you need to get out of here. You're dead, right? Yeah, I'm going to munch you. Oh, you stole my spears. Hope you're happy. Jerk. I, I, I think if I remember right, the... Um, oh! We are actually, like, slightly faster than Survivor as, uh, as Hunter. Like, faster, more agile in general. See ya. Motherfucker. Not quite as agile as, say, uh, Rivulet. Um, dude, that'd be a sick-ass perk to get. Is the uh, oh, there's a spear in there. I do want that. Um, is is having like rivulets uh, agility? Oh my god, that would be insane. That on like literally any character. Goodbye. I have no desire to mess with you, Greeny boy. <laughs> Zero desire at all to mess with you. 
Ah! Okay. Um. There we go. Oh, thank God we can get through. How much time do we have? Not a lot. Wait, what that? Turn 20 points from creature kills. Okay, so I most certainly did not kill the, uh, the what you call it there, the, uh, the centipede, which is sad. I feel like if we get in good with the scavs, that would be good, because then we can, uh, you know, if we get in good with the scavs, we can, we can be buying explosive spears from them left and right, you know what I mean? Now, if I'm right, there is a shelter not too far from here. Issue just going to be getting there. Also, devious uh, video game. Devious. Of, of uh, You know, you, you have leeches in the game, and yet do not put them early on. So, like, we don't know that they exist until we get into places like Drainage System and Garbage Wastes and <laughs> all these other places. We also have to store explosives, huh? Oh, fuck off. Oh! Jesus Christ! Get eaten. There we go. Oh! Ah! Sleepies. Hi, eat. All right, sick. Honestly, I feel like Hunter's thing is not really, like, Hunter's, uh, you know, higher metabolism or whatever is not as much of a detriment um, when you actually, like, you know, are kind of needing to, you know, like, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Anyway, I hope you all did enjoy this episode, and if you did show what to do, that is going to be it for me, Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.